Hey, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? Welcome back to another edition of Mafia 3. So, we just are about to leave our house and go discuss potential assets with Donovan. Now, real quick, I know I've been having a few people making comments about how the bottom of the action bar has been cut off. It's just, it's weird. Mafia 3 doesn't have a windowed borderless mode. It's either windowed mode or not, and it's just not letting me shift it, so I've had to readjust my screen. I can't even read my own money and stuff unless I look at my recording software to see how many stim packs I have, grenades, and how much money I have, so it's kind of awkward, but if you guys uh, like the way it is now to where you guys can see everything, then great, we'll stick with that. All right, so <clears throat> again, thank you guys for the support. I hope you guys are enjoying the little the, the series here, Mafia 3. Is something that I've been very excited for for quite some time now, and yes. uh, I hope you guys are just as excited for it. <laughs> you weren't lying about setting up a tax center. The key to running a successful black bag operation is plausible deniability, which is why I stole all this shit from the FBI things go tits up, those chicken dicks can deal with the fallout. Glad to see you haven't lost your touch. <laughs> if there's one thing I'm good at, it's fucking with Hoover's Ferry Brigade. And while you were convalescing, I did some digging around. Wanted to see if there are any local assets for you to recruit. I came up with three possibilities. Right now, my priority is getting the hollow out from whoever ended up with it. Figured as much. Patience? Well, I thought they fell apart after I put Baca down. Lucky for us, they're back up. And they're none too pleased that Sal gave Delray Hollow to the Dixie Mafia. Dixie Mafia? Georgie's idea. He's got him running heroin, trying to get everybody hooked. Motherfucker. Now, I'll be damned if I let those coon asses destroy everything that Sammy built up. Who replaced Baca? Unknown. He managed to keep his identity a secret. Unknown? Even to John Donovan? Never thought I'd see the day. Well, I can't help <laughs> if I was born pigmentally challenged. So, you telling me my only option is to tail one of these Haitians? Hope he leads me back to the mysterious leader? Hey, it's better than no options. And once you've ingratiated yourself with them, you come see me. I'm finishing something up you're gonna wanna see. So we gotta go wait for the Haitians. We'll take this car. Pretty inconspicuous, right? Or we have a used car dealership across a lot we could have got something from. Now, at some point, you guys are going to see a little bit of a repeat of what I played when I got to go to the 2K Games, 2K games event. So, uh, you know, we will get a little bit of replaying uh, going on there. So we're going to chill right here and wait for the Haitians. us to believe it was one man who did end Dr. King. It's too easy. Too bad. Let's say he was the one who shot Dr. King. Just him and no one else. What if it's really that easy to strike down a great man like Dr. King, President Kennedy, Brother Malcolm? Then nothing in this country will ever change. Now you struggle and you sweat and someone can take it all away just like that. Oh. Looking good, chocolate pudding. Maybe you can give me a taste later on. <laughs> All right, informants work their criminal rackets around New Bordeaux. Find and interrogate them. Got it. 
To inter interrogate a Haitian informant, isolate him through combat or stalking, then approach him to start the interrogation sequence. and I'll make it happen. Fuck. Shit. Get to the voodoo shop. You'll find the boss there. Sorry about the headache, brother. Okay. Just like that. <clears throat> and we're outie. Alright. Let's go take back our uh, borrowed car. Ah, what is wrong with you? What? There we go. Surprisingly, this car doesn't handle too bad. Find a way inside. How about right here? And here we are. <clears throat> Time to sit and wait. Camp. Lieutenant Baca was holding you prisoner. And I held you I did. It appears we both full of surprises. Uh-huh. Certainly does. <laughs> <laughs> what can I do for you, Lincoln Clay? I want you to help me kill Sal Marcano. I see. A few months ago, you was trying to kill me. Now you break in here and expect me to trust you. Now that Marcano's back in the Dixie Mafia, it's only a matter of time till they come for you. And when they do, they'll kill everyone standing in their way. Lest I hitch my horse to your wagon, so to speak. I'll see to it that you get the hollow. After that, depends on how things shake out. Do you know why Sammy and I work war? On account of you going after the lottery? Please. Just because you don't want to face some uncomfortable truths ain't a reason to act naive. Sam and I were fighting because the people in Dahala deserve better than a two-faced old man who handed out cans of food whenever the mood hit him. Who always did what Sal Marcana told him to do, even if it pitted him against his own people. He did the best he could. And yet his best didn't amount to much, did it? Ouch. <clears throat> Once I have the hollow, I run it as I see fit. No questions asked. As long as you give me access to your muscle, your connections, and a place to hold up from time to time, you can do what you want. Marcana replaced Sammy with a man named Richie Doucette. Do you know of him? Assume he's Dixie Mafia. He's a wooster! Likes to kidnap black teenagers and take them out to the bayou. After starving them for a few days, he cuts them loose, tells them to run. Sometimes he brings out the dogs, you know, for old time's sake. That's, 
That's how he killed my sister. This is all I have left. How do I find him? It's still dangerous around here for him, so he stays on the move. But his men operate out of the community church in the old theater, Pearl, as it used to be called. He was named after Sammy's wife. I'm taking it down first. One of my men have been staking it out. Seeing what he can learn about how it's being run, you should talk to him and see what he knows. Once I deal with it, I'll see about the church. So here is where we can um, take a look at all the different stuff. They got explosives, uh, supplies, adrenaline shot, tack vest. Uh, let's do adrenaline shots. Oh, we're full on adrenaline shots. All right, so we're good there. Got it. Government shut me down. They don't want niggas buying guns. Where are we gonna start shooting the hell out of white folks or some such? Motherfuckers. Hey, tell me about it. Let me know if you see something you want. Okay. Let's take a look at our map here. Where are we needing to go from here? I'm not seeing anything, so it's probably giving us a minute to, uh... Oh, there we go. Talk to the voice. All right. That's what I was waiting for. Excuse me. All right. So if I'm not mistaken, I do believe this is where you guys got to see a little bit of the storyline. Damn truth. Cassandra phoned ahead. Say you going out to Purdus. Asshole named Merle Jackson runs it. Turned it into a brothel. Let's white fellas come in and do whatever they want to our young sisters. How do I get to him? You don't. Not yet, anyway. A lot of those Dixie fucks try to stay out of sight. There's someone put a bullet up their ass. If I hit his operations, he'll have to come out and deal with me. I got an idea how to get his attention. He got some girls locked up on the second floor of Perlis. Calls them his thoroughbreds. Has them strung out on all kind of shit. He makes a lot of money off them. Go in there quiet. Get them out of there. I'll let you know when it's done. Hey, uh, I'm sorry to hear about Sammy Nellis. They always did right by me. All right. So we got to go inside the uh, little brothel place and... So this is where busting up rackets comes into play. So by basically damaging enough of the uh, the racket of whoever we're after, enough, like the mob boss type person will come out. Looks like uh, one of them is just right around the corner here. What in the world is going on here? Right up here on the left. What's up? Mr. Laveau told me you'd be 
coming. The girls are upstairs. Be careful. Merle's people are all over the place. I will. Thanks. Alright, so I'm not seeing anybody of, uh, of threat yet. Nope. Oh. Right up there is somebody. I will take that cash, though. I heard somebody up there. Okay, so here comes this guy. Let's see if we can get this guy to come over here real quick. I'm grabbing somebody from over there. Oh, here comes a guy down the stairs. This is probably the guy that keeps hearing me whistle. Yeah, he's got his gun out. Okay. Took care of that guy. I'll take all that money. I see these little uh, green things everywhere. Must be upstairs. I know there's some stuff that you can burn and whatnot. I just happened to see this guy going to the bathroom, so I thought I'd take him out real quick. Bust this door open and get this lady out real quick. Get rid of this piece. Oh. Okay, go on, get out of here. All right, let's pop this one open. Spread the word. Any woman needing help should go to the pierced heart. Thank, thank you. Okay, we got another chick in here. Pop this door open too. Oh my god. They they were going to Once you're out of here, go see Cassandra at the pierced heart. She'll help you. Alright. So it looks like we've got one more. One more girl over here somewhere. Oh, maybe not. Okay, time to go. <laughs> I thought that was a bad guy. Let's 
go ahead and exit the back door. All right. I don't have my car anymore, so we're just going to uh, go ahead and borrow this one. That lady caught me borrowing this car. I would pick a very slow one, wouldn't I? If I'm not mistaken... Nope, I don't have the ability yet. Later in the game, you're actually able to uh, call in and uh, get your car delivered to you. Man, that thing sounds like a pile of poopy. All right, here we go. I got a little something for you. You've been running around so much out there, I figured I'd make your life a little easier. You can use this to call on your support. And here I was thinking you were a heartless asshole. Jerry's still out on that one. There we go, that's what I was talking about. All right, return to the voice. So now we can call associates. And we can call in um, the uh, mobile like armory as well. All right, sweet. Well, we are gonna make our way to the next part of the voice. We're gonna go ahead and take this orange car now. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed some more Mafia 3. We'll catch you guys in the next episode.